Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about what is in my trash and I am so excited about it because I have never done an empties video. It is impossible, well not impossible because I clearly managed to keep these, but it is really hard for me to hang on to empty containers. I already feel like I have way too much stuff as is and I'm pretty minimal, so as soon as something runs out, I tend to just throw it away out of habit, but this time around, I made it a point to hang on to everything and I said as soon as I had five products, I would do this video and I have way more than that. So if you guys wanna see what is in my trash and also know what I would repurchase and never repurchase again, keep on watching. The first product I wanna talk about is the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder in Light. I love this powder. If you have issues with powders making you look dry or feeling dry, I highly recommend this one because it is talc free so it's a little more forgiving on the skin and the reason I haven't replenished this one is because it kind of ran out on me unexpectedly and it's my fault. It's my bad to be honest. The container comes with a sifter. I pulled the sifter out thinking it would be more convenient to use the powder that way, but that plan backfired on me when I left the container open on the edge of my desk and it fell over onto my carpet. So um, it ran out on me really, really quick. This is my third container of this and I will definitely go back and get another one because I need it in my life, especially now that we're going into winter and my skin is starting to feel a little more on the dry side. Next I have my Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. This is another product that I've gone through several bottles of. I just keep forgetting to save the empty containers. And I actually recently replenished this one. If you follow me on Insta Stories, you know that there is also a very tragic story behind the bottle I recently purchased of this Marula oil. Um, if you don't follow me, basically I was almost done with my skincare routine. This oil is the last step. And I guess my hands were just really slippery from the lotion I had just applied and the bottle slipped through my hands and into the sink and all the oil went down the drain. So long story short, I will be repurchasing this one. I just gotta wait a little because that was a stab to my heart when it went down the drain and it was a brand new bottle. I had only used it twice when it went down the drain. I gotta give it some time and let the wound heal before I spend the money on another bottle because this is 100% worth it to me. I wake up in the morning and my skin feels really hydrated. It feels replenished. If you apply this over skin that is feeling irritated, it is so soothing. So um, yeah, long story short, I will replenish it. <laughs> Next, I have another one of my favorite Drunk Elephant products. This is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. Again, another product that I have gone through several bottles of, yet I keep forgetting to save the empty containers. This has become my go-to moisturizer. I will experiment and dabble in other moisturizers, other skincare products, but I always end up coming back to this one, especially if I use something and my skin gets irritated. I can always tell because I get a lot of redness right here if something is irritating my skin, and this always saves the day. It feels really nice. It's, I believe, it's called retro whipped cream because I believe the concept of the moisturizer is that it's a bunch of oils whipped together like a classic moisturizer. That's how they used to make them, I guess. I don't know, but that's what I've heard. Does it say it on here? A retro style moisturizer whipped into an airy blend of six exotic African oils. There you go. It doesn't have a fragrance. It's not too heavy or too light. It might be too heavy for some oily skin types, but um, for me, it's not too oily or too light. It's just perfect. I already purchased another one, so I think the one I'm on is probably my fifth or sixth bottle of this stuff. I love it so much. Next, I have the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Cream. Lots of skincare in this video. I didn't realize how many skincare items I had finished up, but um, this Ceramidin Cream, Again, just very soothing, very gentle on the skin. If my skin is irritated or feeling extra dry, this one always comes to the rescue. I literally squeezed the very last <laughs> drop out of it. I haven't replenished this one because I've gotten really into the Sika Repair line by Dr. Jar, and I'm currently using the Sika Repair Moisturizer in place of this one just because I have that one on hand. So that doesn't mean I wouldn't replenish this one, it's just that I'm currently hooked on Sika Repair. Don't worry you guys, I'll do a video on that collection or just my updated skincare routine and incorporate that into my routine because 
it's become a part of my routine. But yeah, I would definitely replenish this. It's just that I currently have my Lala cream and the Secret Repair, so I'm not in need of another moisturizer that is super, super hydrating and for sensitive skin when I already have two others. But if I didn't have those, I would buy this again right now. Next, I have this Caudalie Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. I am actually really surprised that I haven't done a video on cleansing oils because I'm such a huge fan of them. It's all I use to remove my makeup. I own so so many, I've tested out tons of cleansing oils, so maybe I should do a video on cleansing oils or maybe like a get unready with me. Um, but yeah, I love, love, love cleansing oils. It's the one skincare product that I'm always willing to try something new of. And if I don't like a cleansing oil, I definitely don't like it. I'm trying to think off the top of my head which cleansing oils I don't like, but I can't think of it right now. Um, but yeah, huge fan of cleansing oils. Loved using this one and this one was sent to me by Caudalie and I gave it a try because I love cleansing oils but I was initially turned off because it does say that it has a fragrance however if I do remember the fragrance isn't strong it smells like grapeseed oil it smells natural not like perfume or something really floral and the way I would describe this oil is the consistency is just perfect it's not too light and watery and it's not too thick. Some cleansing oils, they feel too almost grainy and watery. This one just has the perfect consistency and it removes makeup like a dream. So if I didn't have 100 cleansing oils, I would definitely purchase this one again right now, but um, I'm currently testing out a bunch of other ones, which again, if you guys want an entire video on cleansing oils, let me know. Um, but if it weren't for that and this was um, the only one I had and I ran out, I would definitely repurchase it. Frank Body Scrub. I love this stuff and it's funny because Kyle actually discovered this brand for me. Um, we were just on Instagram and he's like, have you seen this brand called Frank Body? Their Instagram is really funny and their marketing is really, really good um, because basically they're always talking as if they're Frank. So on here it says, Okay, maybe it doesn't say on the package, but their Instagram is really funny because it's like a guy named Frank is talking to you. So it'll be like, hey babe, let's get in the shower. I don't know, I think it's really funny and really cute. But this is a coffee scrub and I have never really been into body scrubs or scrubbing in the shower because I dry brush, but I do have keratosis pilaris. I hope I pronounced that right. On my arms, which um, I don't wanna get into too much detail Maybe in another video, I'll do a video just on that because I know a lot of people suffer from it. But they're basically like little red bumps on my upper arm area. Um, they call it kind of like goosebumps or chicken bumps. They're really annoying. It's hard to explain. That's why if you guys want a separate video, I will um, talk about it in that video. But this is the only product that really tones down the look of my KP. We're gonna call it KP for short. It makes it look smooth and not red or bumpy. It just, it feels really good. It has almond oil in it. So on top of the exfoliation, you're also getting um, hydration and just a really nice smoothing effect from the almond oil. And I've gotten a lot of my friends hooked on this product as well. And it's really easy to go through one of these. And I also really love them because they're based in Australia, but shipping is always free. And I believe this bag is 14 bucks, which I think is pretty affordable, including the free shipping for a really nice, luxurious feeling coffee scrub. I have definitely gone through several of these and will probably go through several more. If you want baby smooth skin, do yourself a favor and get yourself one of these. This next one I think is a record for me and maybe for a lot of people this is also gonna be shocking. I finished a lip balm. That is shocking. I always lose a lip balm before I actually finish it. This is the Creme de Rose Smoothing Plumping Lip Balm by Dior and look at that empty i could still scrape out a little on the sides but i think a majority of it filled up with mika's fur it's still covered in mika's fur this lip balm for an evening lip balm when you're going to bed is amazing you wake up and your lips when you put it on your lips look really plump and when you wake up your lips look really plump i think it's because of the texture and the light pink shade it just gives the illusion that your lips are really plump and juicy it does have a really really strong rose scent, uh, but I'm assuming it's like a natural rose, like a rose oil, so I don't mind it because I love the smell of roses. It's when a product smells like a bouquet of flowers that I have an issue. Uh, so very luxurious. Would I replenish? Yes. I currently just put in an order and it should be here next week. <laughs> Okay, and to wrap up this video, I have three hair products. The first one being the Sally Hirschberger 24K Golden Touch 
here we go again. <laughs> Nourishing dry oil. Oh, it wasn't that long. Why did it seem so long last time? I used this in my recent video on how to easily blow dry your hair and it just never weighs down my hair. It always makes my hair look shiny and smooth and frizz free and soft and it smells really good. So no complaints about this oil aside from that. It is really expensive, but it clearly hasn't stopped me. This is honestly probably my 10th bottle of this stuff and I just love it and I will continue to repurchase this until I find something better. So if you have any recommendations, especially affordable ones, comment down below, but this is bomb. And then finally, I have the Kerastase Chronologiste. <laughs> Kerastase Chrono, here, let me put it up. Chronologi, I don't know. I actually included this in a favorites video a long time ago, and I finally finished this one container of it. It is a hair mask that you use in the shower, and anytime my hair is feeling really dry and overworked, I toss this into my hair in the shower, and you notice immediately when you're rinsing it out that your hair feels really soft and replenished and your hair looks really good afterwards. So um, would I replenish this one? Uh, same thing with this uh, specific product. I have so many different hair masks and I'm always willing to try new ones. So I think um, I might move on to the next one and see what else is good, but I really did love this one. And um, if all of my other hair masks disappeared and I went back to buy just the ones that I absolutely love, this one would be one of them. I actually have three more products that I wasn't gonna show because I feel like it's body wash and body lotion, but I'm gonna show you to you guys anyway. The first two I'm gonna couple together, they are shower gels by Carez and I don't know, with shower gels, I'm pretty cheap. I just kind of get them from the drugstore. So to me, these are very luxurious. And while I did really, really love them, I just don't know, or I don't see myself spending the money on an expensive shower gel because I go through them so quickly. I kind of um, abuse or overuse shower gel. I put way too much on my loofah and run out within like a week. <laughs> well, that's exaggerating, but I run out pretty fast. Um, so to spend a lot of money on expensive, luxurious, Shower gels, it's just, I don't know, it's just not something I would do. These were really, really nice. They smell really good, but um, would I replenish and spend the money on them? Probably not. And then the other one is the Sympathy for the Skin by Lush. Love this body moisturizer. If you have dry skin, ugh, this works wonders. It just, it instantly feels so satisfying on the skin. It smells incredible, I'm pretty sure. It has sandalwood in it. If you love woody uh, scents like sandalwood, you'll love this. It's bananas, sandalwood. Oh my God, I love this moisturizer. And I would buy a lifetime supply of this stuff if I could, it's that good. And that is everything that is in my trash. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought this video was really fun because I feel like we get so much new stuff now that it almost becomes impossible to completely finish a product. So I thought this was really cool. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Um, comment down below on what your thoughts are on some of the products or if you think I should try anything new based off what I showed you guys. And that is all for today, you guys. I gotta head out and go to an event. I've had this makeup on for so many hours now. It's not even complete. I kind of just tossed it on to do this video since I filmed something else right before. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, share it, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.